Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to my Inbox 24 video. It's been over two months since I've done one of these and so a lot of the stuff I'll be showing are new second hand and the odd pound purchase. Uh, were bought. Some of them were bought before the lockdown, some were discogs and then the few new ones at the end were actually bought over the past week or so. So I'm going to start off with uh, the second hand records that I've got and this one was just before the lockdown and it's the Eagles on the border and the reason I bought this was because earlier on in the year or maybe at the end of last year I bought a brand new copy of Hotel California and I really enjoyed it. I do have an Eagles Greatest Hits. I saw this going very cheap and I thought I'll buy it. I played it and I'm not keen. The best song on this is The Best of My Love and um, James Dean is good as well which I think are both on the greatest hits. It's okay, I just think it's a little bit bland so I don't know if I'll go any further with any of the Eagles albums. Next one up and I got this here during lockdown but this didn't come in, in time to show in the last video and this is Ray Dorsett's Best, um, his 10 greatest songs. Don't be fooled by the name, it's not his best. This is stuff he recorded with uh, Good Earth before Mungo Jerry released their first album and it's not bad. There is a version of In the Summertime on here but uh, some songs like Jack Sly Disaster, That's the Life, they're not bad songs, they're just not as good as the Mungo Jerry ones but it's good to have and just to hear some of the uh, Good Earth material because I've never heard any before. So glad to get it and this was extremely cheap. I think this was going for £1.50 or something. Put it this way, the postage was more than the actual album. Next up and now you, you might have to sit down here <laughs> but I bought a Neil Young album. Shock horror. I don't like Neil Young but I bought a Neil Young album and I bought Trans. Now there is a reason for this. Way back when this came out in '83. I remember taping on to VHS, I think it was from the Old Grey Whistle Test, there was two songs called Computer Age and the other one I could never remember the name of and I knew that both of them were on this and I always liked Computer Age but I really liked the other one. I liked the idea of the vocoder because I don't like Neil Young's voice. So I bought this, I played it and Computer Age was really good and I played the whole of the first side. I didn't recognise anything, although I did actually enjoy it. And I was near the end, well the middle of the second side and lo and behold my song came on and it is called Sample and Hold and I loved it and I still love it. So yeah, I've a, now I've got a vinyl Neil Young album. Now I do have a couple of Neil Young CDs. I've got a Harvest after the Gold Rush and I've also got the double CD Decade which was originally a triple album. So I have listened to Neil Young and I will always say he's a fantastic songwriter, it's just I don't like his voice. So now I was pleased to get this and it was relatively cheap as well, under tenor anyway. So Neil Young, trance. Next up I bought this because I used to have this on tape before about four or five years ago. I took all my tapes, there's only about 60 of them, uh, pre-recorded tapes and chucked them all in the bin. And it's Roy Wood, the singles. Now, if Gemma's watching this, uh, Spins and Needles, this is the single Roy Wood compilation to get. And this covers um, a few move singles, like Flowers in the Rain, I Can Hear the Grass Grow, and Blackberry Way. Wizard singles, like See My Baby Jive, Angel Fingers. Um, and there's a couple other ones here, Rock and Roll Winter, and this is the story of my love, and then a load of Roy Wood singles and it's really good and there's an exclusive song off this uh, OTT which was a single to promote this album this came out in 1982 and it's a really good album and it's dead cheap as well so Roy with the singles next up another extremely cheap one I do like a bit of early Olivia and I always loved the first Olivia Newton-John album with Banks of the Ohio and uh, If Not For You on it this is the follow-up and this is the one with Winterwood and What Is Life and this is every bit as good and there's another George Harrison song off this behind that locked door so she does two of all things must pass and yeah I really like it as well and Angel of the Mornings on this too 
it's a very good album. It's country, Olivia, and it's a gorgeous cover. So yeah, I really like Olivia's first two albums. I do like a wee bit of the like the physical type stuff as well, and obviously the Grease. Uh, next up is the Supremes, and this is uh, Love Child. This is actually Diana Ross and the Supremes, Love Child, and this is a good album. Uh, as I said before, I love the Supremes. I just think they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've just put them on in the background. I love everything that they've done, apart from the uh, Live at the Top of the Town, which is too show busy. But um, this is a good album. Um, and again, I love that cover. Absolutely love that cover. I think the big song off this was actually Love Child itself. Because I don't really, I didn't recognise any of them. There's not that many on the, the greatest hits. But yeah, good album. And another girl group which I bought, and this is the Shirelles, Will You Love Me Tomorrow, and it's like a best of. And the only ones I actually knew of this before I played it were de dedicated to the one I love, and obviously Will You Love Me Tomorrow. But this too is an absolutely cracking album, really, really good. Again, those sort of early, mid-60s uh, girl groups are fantastic. Um, I really must look out for a Renette's album. I don't have any Renettes or any Crystals or anything like that. But I think they're quite uh, expensive to buy on vinyl. Okay, next up and we have... Now I bought this because it says Susie Quattro on it. It's Danny Get Your Gun. It's the original London cast recording. Uh, it's alright. I would never play it again. It's, it's not her, put it that way. It is her, but it's not her. It's not the sort of stuff I like. Um, I do quite like the single off it. Which is, I can't even remember the name of it. Uh, I lost him in his arms. Or I lost you in his arms. I got lost in his arms even. Nah, it's, it's alright. Not brilliant. But I bought it and it was cheap. Adds to the collection. Also I bought this because it's extremely cheap. And I bought this uh, after lockdown out of the record shop. And it's the uh, Michael Jackson 18 Greatest Hits. It's the Jackson 5 and the early Michael Jackson material. Which I do like. I really bought it for the fantastic song I Want You Back, which I think is amazing. And also like ABC, uh, Rock and Robin, Ben's okay, but sickly sweet. One Day in Your Eyes, a bit sickly sweet, but this is actually a pretty good album. And it's on, unfortunately, it's on the crappy Telstar album. So there's how many? 18 songs packed into one album. But I remember this when this came out. This came out in 83, I believe. And uh, it sold a bucket load. And also a very cheap one, and I thought this is uh, not a guilty pleasure. I bought it because it was so cheap, and I had heard the lead single off it not that long ago, and I really liked it, even though I hated it at the time. I bought a Catch a Goo Goo album, White Feathers. I do like Too Shy. I do like Ooh To Be Ah, and I do like Hang On Now, the three singles. The rest of it's okay. It's not bad. Um, Duran Duran really promoted this. They really went mad with Kajagoogoo, I believe. If I can remember that they were really promoting them, I think Kajagoogoo maybe supported them as well. But during their lifetime, I did buy two Kajagoogoo singles, two from the next album after Limal had left. One was The Lion's Mouth, another one was Is It uh, Turn Your Back on Love? But yeah, not bad and worth a couple of quid. And this was a pound buy, and it's Joan Armour Trading's The Shouting Stage. Um, I haven't played it yet. It's probably our most 80s uh, type album. It's got radio leads on it, so there's a annoying for the cover, but the vinyl is in perfect nick. So I'll play that, maybe actually play that this afternoon, see what it's like. And another pound buy, and I bought Kenny Rogers, and we used to have this tape, or my father did years ago. And I, I have to admit, I do like songs like Lady Lucille, um, Never That Keen on the Gambler. I always like this version of We've Got Tonight with Sheen Easton as well, which is on this. And uh, Card of the County is alright. And obviously, uh, Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. It's a good album, and for a pound, yeah, it was coming home with me. Okay, so going on to the new albums. And this is another Susie Quattro album, and this was bought in lockdown and it's on released emotion and it's on red vinyl this album was uh, scheduled to come out around 1983 
but it never came out until the late 90s and even then it didn't last too long and then it was released again about five years ago and this is really good and they've added an extra couple of songs on this the I Go Wild which is the one I couldn't remember what, so what it sounded like on the Susie Quadro ranking video I do know I do know now um, and tonight I could fall in love so they weren't really supposed to be on this but they've been added and this is a good album I don't know why it didn't come out it's every bit as good as the previous album Main Attraction so I'm glad to get it and it's on red vinyl and it's a gatefold and it just more or less well it doesn't complete Miss Susie there's one album from around 1990 but it's too expensive to buy even on CD so uh, on release to motion and this one here um, is Secret Affair and I fancied this um, this is Glory Boys this is two singles off it which I have Let Your Heart Dance and uh, Time For Action I bought this thinking uh, uh, I don't know I'll have a go I fancy something a little bit different this was brilliant this was absolutely brilliant I thought it would be similar to the chords but this is far better than the chords uh, so far away album this is really really good and unfortunately it's really hard to get their other albums the track itself glory boys is brilliant they do a really good version of going to a go go new dance is great days of change is great it's just an absolutely brilliant mod album love it so glory boys by secret affair and these last three now there's going to be a surprise here because i bought them uh the three of them yesterday uh, i was going up to the record shop and i said look i'm going to buy an album or maybe two i actually bought three but i have to buy something that i don't have anything of so um these three artists i have nothing of i've no singles no cds no lps of any of these three artists and they have to be well acclaimed albums and so it's almost like a little review and the first one and i played this once and i really did enjoy it and it's craftworks autobahn and i got this this was cheap enough it was below 20 pounds anyway uh yeah it's a good album um autobahn itself is 20 minutes long it's maybe stretching it a little bit so it is um it could have been cut by a quarter and i think it would probably be as effective if not more and Mitternacht, uh, Morgan Spatzergang, God, I'm not very good at German, but yeah, it's a good listen. I played it last night, really enjoyed it, and I will probably get up, get another one. I probably is it the Computer Age album or the Computer World album? I think that's the one with the model on it. Not sure, but I'll look out for it. Really enjoyed it. Craftwork, Autobahn, so yeah. This one here, um, I love the cover. I've always wanted to buy this. I have nothing of them, as I said, and I've played this twice, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I now own a Black Sabbath album, and I couldn't believe how good this was. There's only seven songs on it, but Black Sabbath is great. Uh, NIB is great. Evil Woman is great. It's, it's all great. One of the songs, I'm not too sure which one it is, Sounds a little bit like uh, Sunshine of Your Love, the actual riff. But yeah, I couldn't believe how good this was. And I'm so pleased to pick this up. Which means I know I will buy Paranoid because I do know about two or three songs off that album. If um, Iron Man's on it, which I'm not sure. And there's another one, I can't remember the name of it. But uh, yeah, excellent album. It wasn't really what I was expecting. I was expecting really hard heavy metal this is not this is really dark and thoroughly enjoyed it but the biggest surprise um that i bought and i got this for 16 pounds it's on blue vinyl and i've played it three times already and i do quite like it and i now have a jazz album i never thought in my wildest dream i would buy a jazz album um this is a, a kind of blue by Miles Davis it's what I expected it's jazz and for me and I don't want to offend anyone who are big jazz fans it's background music and it's a really really good background music I can't see me sitting down and actually listening to it you know concentrating completely on this but this really flew by whenever I played it and I thought it was really really good um, the track so what um, it kind of reminded me of something I must have heard that before 
I'll tell you what actually kept jumping through my mind when I was listening to this, and that's the Pink Panther. I'm not talking about the films of Peter Sellers, I'm talking about the pink cartoon cat that used to be on every Sunday. There's just little bits and pieces of it that remind me of that, and I don't know why, but overall I really did enjoy it. Flamenco Sketches is probably my favourite, that's the last song on side two, but yeah, I enjoyed it. Will I buy more jazz? I doubt it. Um, I'd be tempted to get as a bitch's brew. But there was an £8 difference between that and this, and this is why I bought this one. Only because, apparently, it's, uh, he tries to bring in some rock music into it and fuse that with the jazz, just to see what it's like. And the only other one I'd be tempted to buy is, because I've seen it about six million times on the VC, is A Love Supreme by John Coltrane. But that would be about it. This will definitely get played again. I did enjoy it, but I'm not the biggest jazz fan. And as I said, it's really good background music. Okay, so that's uh, some of my purchases um, since over the past two months, really. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to have another video quite soon. All the best now. Bye-bye.